Anyway, since we've been having so much fun with the adjustment brush inside of Lightroom, I thought that it would be fun to show you one more creative tip that you could use for any photograph. It's really easy to do. So let's jump into Lightroom and I'll show you exactly what it is that I'm talking about. In this video, we're gonna switch gears a little bit and I actually am gonna bring up a portrait that I had shot not that long ago. It's not about the picture, it's really about the technique. So let's show you what I'm talking about. We're gonna start by grabbing the adjustment brush and this whole trick has to do with color. It's all about color and how you can ingest a little bit of color into the photograph. In the previous video, we talked about how we could add light to a photograph, and you can do that with this as well. But this is really about adding some fun, creative color to an image. And there's a, there's a button that you may be overlooking that'll help you do this. If you look closely over here on the panel, there's actually a button all the way kind of down at the bottom. Right before you get to the brush settings, there's a button called color. And if you click on this color button, this will actually change the color that's gonna be applied to the photograph. So if we look at this image here, there we can see how the sun or the light is in the, in the background to the right of the image. And what I wanna do, there's some really nice uh, hair light or backlight uh, coloring her hair, but I wanna add something a little bit more creative to that. So what I'm gonna do is go in here and maybe grab some pinks. What's nice is, that as soon as you open up this little color box, you get this eye picker tool. And you can come in here and choose any color that you want. So I'm gonna go in here and maybe grab this uh, dark pink color. And then I'm gonna come over to the photograph, make my brush nice and big, and I'm just gonna click on the image one time. Uh, it really doesn't matter where because again, I can move this pin around and put it anywhere I want. So somewhere over here and I'm just trying to accent a little bit more of the reddish colors that's in her hair. If I show you a before and after of what that adjustment does, you can see how fun uh, that is, especially if you're someone who has young kids or is into high school senior portrait photography or something like that, adding a little bit of color gives this photo a little bit of a uh, little bit of attitude which I like and as always you can lower the opacity of this adjustment by holding your alt or option key so now that I've got added color on the back of her hair maybe I want to add a complementary color on the front side of her so I'm gonna go back to that color picker and this time I could choose something that's green but I'm gonna go for something a little bit more edgy and maybe grab uh, a blue maybe a dark blue um, Whoops, I made a mistake there. What I meant to do was actually start a new adjustment first. So what you can see what happened here was because I didn't do that, I actually changed the color ahead of time. I didn't mean to do that. But just so you know, you can change that color or dialing that color after the fact. So I'm gonna go back and put this to that pink. You can see how I move this around, how that changes the color in her hair. So something like this is really uh, fun. So let's do this correctly this time. Go back and choose new. You need to make a new adjustment if you're gonna add a second color. So we're gonna choose new, choose color, pick those blues, and then I'm gonna go into the front side and just click somewhere in the photograph. Again, it doesn't really matter where I click because I can always uh, move this around. And in this instance, I wished that I had made the brush a little bit larger. So what I'm gonna do is delete that pen, make my brush bigger. My color is already set, so I don't need to change that again, and just click one time. And now I can move this pin around and get it kind of where I want to. And I'm gonna go and change the color, so I'm gonna click on color, and maybe I want something that's a little bit uh, more of a bluish kind of green, a little, little more subtle, something like that. Then I'll hold Alt or Option to lower the opacity on the adjustment so that I get a real subtle effect. And if you notice here, if I zoom in and I toggle this on and off, you can see how some of that blue is, is getting in her hair, which I really, really love, but it's also getting on her face. So I'm gonna choose my eraser and I'm gonna move uh, the flow down to something really soft. And I'm just gonna go and brush along her face to make sure that I take some of that blue cast off. 
There we go. That looks much better. So there you have it. A little bit of pink in the back, a little bit of bluish green in the front, and that really adds some, some nice fun color to this portrait. Gives it a little bit more uh, pizzazz. So you can use this on any type of photograph. Like I said, you can change the color. You can add as many colors as you want. Um, I don't really care. I like rainbows and unicorns. So you can add a whole rainbow of colors to your photograph if that really uh, suits your needs. So hopefully you enjoyed this tip. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, we'd love it if you subscribe to our channel so you hear when all the newest videos come out. And as always, thank you so much for watching. My name is Adam. I'm out.